Hey gangsters, it's just me, Leslie Singh, aka Ghetto Mama. Today's been like a really crappy day. I got on a scale this morning and I weighed more than I should. And today's just been a bad day. It started off last night after midnight because I ate sweets. Guess who had inflammation and guess who ached all night? My body hurt, hurt, hurt. Because, you know, I don't know if you followed my other channel, but I was explaining to you, and you can look this up, so it's not my BS. This is like, you know, like doctor's proof type thing. Oh, look at this hair. It looks like alfalfa. Anyway, um, yeah, if you eat sugar, starches, well, starches turn into sugar in your body, and carbs are like a sugar type of thing, too. Anyway, you can get inflammation, and if you ha eat wheat products, you get inflammation. That's why a lot of these people are, like, gluten-free on stuff. Well, because I ate the wrong things yesterday, all night long, and my body ached, I hurt. I hurt all day long today. And then, you know what? I'm a repeat offender. You know what I did? At my supper time, I had a little piece of that cake, the yellow cake that I ate on my mukbang yesterday, and some cherry pie and a big blob of... Uh, whipped cream. So you know what? I'm going to be hurting for certain and just had a bad day. I don't know what possessed me to get into this stuff. Um, for supper I had two hot dogs, a little spoon of uh, baked beans, some of that spaghetti sauce over top the hot dogs to make it taste like a chili dog to me. And I had some leftover fried potatoes in the um, refrigerator. And I think I had like maybe a fourth of a cup or maybe almost a half of a cup of those just very like few on my plate I've been good doing good on my diet for portion control but bad on my diet for what I've been eating so yeah the baked beans are too many carbs the potatoes that's iffy because you know they're a vegetable but they're starchy and if I keep it like low you know, low portions, small portions, it shouldn't be that bad. But, yeah, wrong thing. Cherry pie, a piece of lemon lemon cake, they call it Louisiana cake, cream cake. <sighs> I didn't drink any milk today. Um, today I've been drinking my water bottle. Right now I have um, tea in it. The um, Crystal Light sweet tea. I don't really like it. I don't know. Today, I don't like the Crystal Light. Yesterday, I liked it, but today, I don't. And got my old dog up here, Tippy Too. Tippy! Tippy. Tippy Too. Tip, 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 tip. Hey. Tippy. Hey. He's sad today. Christmas, he gets the blues at Christmas. Yeah, dogs get the blues at Christmas. Tippy. Tippy, blink. Are you alive? Hey, dude. Yeah, he's ignoring me. I got into a wicked-ass fight this afternoon with my daughter. <clears throat> I'm so angry with her. People, you just don't know how angry I am. <sighs> and, uh, yeah. I was about ready to deck her in the middle of the driveway. And usually I speak about peace and love and all this kind of stuff. Well, my buttons were pushed... To the buttons got broke. And when my broken buttons are, when my buttons get broke, then I don't give a damn. So I was mad because I'm tired of repeat offenders. You know, like, do you have a family member that does something over and over and you tell them, hey, you know, you get nice, you know, you're nice, say, hey, would you please not? Um, please not do this. Don't do that. Please, you know. And then they, they keep just doing it. I don't get it. And it all started this afternoon over. She was sitting at the table, and they were eating salad. And her boyfriend jumped up, and he was looking around. And I thought that he was looking for ranch dressing. And I said, hey, we don't have any more ranch dressing. And then she got mad and popped off with this really big freaking attitude with me that lasted all afternoon. Everything she said, she was like, rah, 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 rah at me and it's like you know my voice wasn't like that all I said to the dude was I don't think we have any more ranch 
and she was asking him, I think, to go get her a soda. That's, I think that's what she said, and I don't know, why the hell was, would she, like, treat me like shit over that? I don't get it. I don't get it. And then, they were laying on the floor, and I really need to, to wash this carpet, okay? The carpet, to me, is dirty. I wash the carpet, I shampoo my carpet, like, once a month, because I got the baby crawling around in here, and I feel grody if the carpet is not washed once a month. Because if you can walk across your floor and your socks get a little bit dirty on the bottom, that means your floor is not clean. I know everything don't have to be a medical hospital setting because even those places are dirty if you want to know the truth. But my carpet, to me, is dirty. And all I want them to do is get up and sit on the couch. They don't be laying down on the floor all day. Like, they ain't got a life. They can just, you know, get up and sit on the couch and act like normal human people and stand and laying around all frickin' day. Piss me off. Excuse me. My bad language, but, yeah. My floor's not that bad. I'll show you. There's some spots on the floor that I think might be um, garage dirt from my son's. One's a truck driver. One works on cars all the time. See? See? See over there by the diaper bag? That dark spot. I think that's a footprint. And I don't like that. I don't like my floors dirty. You know, I have a lot of clutter in my house. Because there's a lot of people here in my house. But, there's no reason that it can be dirty. Okay? No. I nah, don't like dirty. And I have two dogs and a cat. And they make things dirty because they're hair. Okay? So... We have to every day vacuum the floor, sometimes a couple of times a day vacuum, just, you know, to keep up with everything. You know, and brushing the animals and grooming them and getting their fur shaved in the summertime. Well, the cat don't get his fur shaved, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. It's just a fact of life. If you have pets, you're going to have pet hair, right? And I wear black. Have you noticed? I wear black. And I don't want to go somewhere with hair all over me. See, I don't really have hair on me. I might have one or two dog hairs on me somewhere, but, you know, I want to be comfortable and not have dog hair in my house. And I'm going on a stupid rant, and you guys are probably going to think I'm so stupid and so ignorant for telling all this stuff on YouTube, but I'm keeping it real, gang. This is but what my day has been like. And I have cabin fever. I've been in the house, like, I think since, um, I don't... No, since when? Sunday. Since Sunday? Today's Tuesday. Did we go someplace su Sunday? No. Well, I've been in the house since Saturday. I didn't go anywhere Sunday. Yeah, since Saturday. So that's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I like to get out of the house at least a few minutes to go to the mailbox. Because I rent a mailbox because where I live, the oh, did go out people because you went to go get something to eat and Adrian wanted to go gambling. Oh, that's right. I did go out Sunday, she says, but I thought that was Saturday. I thought it because no, I sat here. Oh, well, I sat in the car Sunday. Woo. Yeah, and now we went through the drive through. That's right. I did. I did. Excuse me. I'm wrong. I bought my big son and uh, my. My um, daughter's boyfriend and baby's mama food from Carl Jr.'s. And I got me to McDouble's at McDonald's and bought my daughter a Big Mac and some Chicken McNuggets from McDonald's. So, yes, I did get out Sunday, but I don't know. I just feel really freaking trapped, I guess, having all this Christmas crap in the house, you know, like and everything. I feel trapped and, you know, I don't know. I'm a gal on the go. And then... Personal issues, the soldier scammer keeps bothering me. Why the hell do you keep bothering me, I wonder? He's probably out here listening. So, if soldier scammer, David Seen, F off, dude. Yeah, because we know you're a scammer. Your name's Jibenja. You know, you're in Nigeria, so why don't you just, you know, like, F-O, for real? Adios, amigos, you know what I mean? AMF, you know? So anyway, he keeps bugging me. He gets on kick. Leaves me a message. He says, are you there? And I don't even look at it, you know, to see who it is. I was like, yeah, I'm here. And he goes, you're crazy. Or you're ugly. And all this stuff. I'm like, why the hell are you messaging me? I want to talk to you. 
He acts like he's heartbroken because I won't give him the time of day. And I blocked him off of everything. I blocked him, blocked him, blocked him. So there's no reason he needs to be messaging me. But anyway, that's what my day has been like. I'm mad because I gained weight, or I'm holding water weight. I don't know what it is. Mad at my daughter. Mad at the soldier scammer. And I feel trapped. I'm not hitting with any depression today. Just mad. I'm angry. And that's unusual for me because usually I'm not angry. Usually I'm depressed. I'll sit and cry before I get mad. But today I'm angry. So now you've seen an angry side of me. You know? And uh, I don't know what to say, but... <sighs> I need to regroup. I really do. I just need to regroup. I need to go out for a car ride, maybe hit the drive through at McDonald's and get me a, a, a diet soda. I know, big deal, I got soda, I got water here, but why would you want to go there and spend money? Just because I want to get out of the house and because I can. I need to do something. I really do. And my poor little Tip. Yeah, I feel so sorry for Tip Tips. Uh, he's so sad today. I don't know. He's making me sad now. And now I got a stomach ache from eating that damn cake and that pie. Urgh, I can't win. Okay, gangsters. Just wanted to check in with you and let you know how S-H-I-T-T-Y my day is, man. Hope your day has been better. I will see you next video. I hope. Hope I didn't offend anybody.